Good morning children. Now you know about fractions. Let us understand how to add fractions. One day Aman went to watch a circus show. Aman travelled a distance of 2 by 4 kilometers by bus and then 1 by 4 kilometer on foot. How much distance did Aman travel for the show? Look, 2 by 4 means 2 one fourths. That is, by bus he travelled 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. And then he walked another 1 fourth. So, it is equal to 3 one fourths of kilometer. So, 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4. Aman travelled a distance equal to 3 by 4 kilometers to see the circus. Let us take another example. On 1st January, Khushi slept 3 by 8 of the day and studied for 1 eighth part of the day. What total part of the day did she sleep and study? 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8 is equal to 4 by 8. Thus, Kushi spent 4 by 8 parts of the day in the sleep and study. Remember equivalent fractions? In 4 by 8, divide the numerator and denominator by 4. What do we get? 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, we get 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is the equivalent fraction of 4 by 8, which means 4 by 8 is same as 1 by 2. Even pictorially, you can figure out whether we take 4 parts out of 8 parts or 1 part out of 2 parts of the whole. The colored portion of the whole is same in both the cases. So, Kushi spent half of the day in sleep and study and the rest of the half day with her friends. So, she enjoyed a lot with her friends that day. Right children? So, how do we add fractions? When the denominators are same, that is, the fractions are like fraction, we can add the numerators directly and the denominator remains the same. Like, Anand divides a cake into five parts. First, he takes two parts, that is, two by five parts. Then another piece which is 1 by 5 part. So he takes 2 by 5 plus 1 by 5. Here the two fractions are like fractions. That is the denominators are same which is 5. So we can add the numerator. 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 by 5. Aman took 3 by 5 parts of the cake. Let us take another example. Kushi bought 3 by 4 kgs of ladyfinger and 1 by 8 kg of green chilies. How much vegetables did she buy in total? In 1 by 8, the denominator is 8 and in 3 by 4, the denominator is 4. The denominators are different. So, the two fractions are unlike fractions. So, we cannot add them directly. Now, if we make the denominators same, we can add the numerators directly. How can we make the denominators of both the fractions same? Do you remember equivalent fractions? We can find an equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 with 8 as the denominator. What should we do for this? Multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. 
if we multiply the denominator which is 4 with 2 it would be 8 which is what we require so we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 the new numerator would be 3 into 2 which is 6 and the new denominator would be 4 into 2 which is 8 so the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 obtained would be 6 by 8 pictorially also you can see both the fractions 6 by 8 and 3 by 4 are equal as both the fractions 6 by 8 and 1 by 8 have the same denominator we can add easily so 6 by 8 plus 1 by 8 is equal to 6 plus 1 by 8 which is equal to 7 by 8 so Kushi bought 7 by 8 kgs of vegetables in total let us take another example Kushi has two and half cups of walnuts and one fourth cup of cashews how many cups of nuts does she have first we convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction for numerator we get 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5 and the denominator is 2 so Kushi has 5 and half cups of walnuts now we need to add 5 by 2 and 1 by 4 let us make the denominators equal to make addition possible for this find an equivalent fraction of 5 by 2 with denominator as 4 for this we multiply both the denominator and numerator by 2 so 5 by 2 can be written as 10 by 4 now we add 10 by 4 and 1 by 4 and we get 11 by 4 so Kushi has 11 by 4 cups of nuts with her but 11 by 4 is an improper fraction so let us convert it to mixed fraction for this we divide 11 by 4 2 fours are 8 so we subtract 8 from 11 3 is the remainder so Kushi has total of 2 which is the quotient and 3 by 4 which is the remainder upon divisor so 2 3 fourth cups of nuts are there with Kushi let us see more examples one day Aman's father bought 3 by 5 kgs of mangoes on the same day his mother bought 2 by 3 kgs of mangoes so how many kgs of mangoes does he have in total if we see in 3 by 5 and 2 by 3 the denominators are different we need to make the denominator same to add them easily but how to convert 3 to 5 we cannot do this in this case we change both the denominators to a common number let us do a simple thing we multiply the denominator 5 by 3 to make it 15 then we multiply the denominator 3 by 5 to make it 15 so both are 15 then both the denominators will be equal now we get their equivalent factors for this 
even the numerator should be multiplied by the same number. So, 3 by 5 becomes 3 into 3 upon 5 into 3 which is equal to 9 by 15 and 2 by 3 becomes 2 into 5 divided by 3 into 5 which is equal to 10 by 15. 9 by 15 is an equivalent fraction of 3 by 5. 10 by 15 is an equivalent fraction of 2 by 3. So 3 by 5 plus 2 by 3 is same as 9 by 15 plus 10 by 15. So let us add 9 by 15 plus 10 by 15 to get how many kgs of mangoes we have in total. Now find 9 by 15 plus 10 by 15. As the denominators are same, we simply add the numerators and have the common denominator. So the answer is 19 by 15. Here the numerator is bigger than the denominator which means it is an improper fraction. Let us convert it to a mixed fraction. We divide 19 by 15. 1 times 15 is 15. So we subtract 15 from 19 and 4 is the remainder. So we can write the mixed fraction as quotient and remainder by divisor. 1 is the quotient, 4 is the remainder and 15 is the divisor. So we get 1, 4 by 15 kilograms. Thus Aman has 1, 4 by 15 kilograms of mangoes. So now you know how to add the fractions first by making the denominator same in case they are different as in the case of unlike fractions and then simply adding the numerators of the two fractions. That's all for now. Bye bye children.